Today I'm going to be reviewing the Shark One Vac 2.0 handheld vacuum. It's supposed to be an upgraded model of the original grey version and it certainly looks more elegant, but does it sweep up better? This Shark is touted as having more power and more suction compared to its predecessors. This is true as it comes with a boost mode which only the Beldre Revo and Dyson V7 trigger boasts. It'll charge on its dock for three and a half hours, after which you can clean for 15 minutes. This is five minutes longer than the Shark 1.0. It comes with a crevice and duster tool for those narrow nooks and crumbs which won't budge. And the upholstery tool is the best option for pet hair. It's lightweight coming in at under a kilo, but its capacity is a bit of an anomaly. It's got a 0.1 litre chamber, same as the other one vax, but because of its large metal dust cup, it can't hold as much. Thankfully, it is easy to empty. Let's see how well the shark handles a handful of rice on our lovely carpet in three strokes. It does a good job with the upholstery tool, picking up almost all the grains. Compare this to the Beldre Revo, a similar size vac, and witness the stark contrast. Now let's move on to a hard surface and a classic cereal, Cheerios. How much will it pick up in three sweeps? Oh dear, this was a bit of a disaster. As expected, its capacity filled up quicker than most and a lot of the cereal was thrown back up. This is how you pick up cereal with the GTEC MK2 K9. Even the old OneVac 1.0 can hold more before it starts struggling. Sharks state that this model is suitable for pet hair, so we'll put it to the test in three sweeps on this carpet covered with fur. so a lot of the large bits have been sucked up, as have some of the thinner strands, but I think boost mode is needed to rip off the remaining few. As you can see, boost has helped a lot and whipped up the last few nuisance strands stuck to the carpet. Compare this with the boost mode of the Beldre and you can see the difference in suction ability. Let's attach the crevice tool and try out crumb cleaning from this sofa in three sweeps. It's mightily impressive and zaps the crumbs in a sweep. It's one of the best handheld vacs I've reviewed for getting into tight spaces and under furniture too. Unlike the Vax Gator, which doesn't have an elongated crevice tool to reach into those narrow areas. This vac is well built and looks the part. It's simple to use and handle given its size and weight. The 15 minute runtime gives you a little bit more time so you can do up the stairs and still have some extra charge for the sofa or your car. And the boost mode is great for that added oomph when hair gets stubborn. Its downfall is the capacity. It just can't pick up loads of mess at once, otherwise it will end up back on the floor. It is easy to empty, but how many times do you want to be pacing back and forth to the bin? This shark is nice to look at and it cleans pretty well too. But I found the capacity a nuisance. The fact it can't pick up more than a handful of Cheerios in one go made me lose some respect for it. For more information and to start comparing the best handheld vacs on the market, visit finder.com by clicking this link here. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe and be sure to hit that bell button to be the first to know when a new video drops. Thanks for watching.